hello welcome to my channel my name is Liv Mila to my returning subscribers thank you if you're new on this channel thank you for stopping by and please consider subscribing today I'll be showing you how I used my stone applicator to stone this beautiful cow kaftan let's get started so this is my kaftan all sprayed out and that is my stone applicator i'm going to be unboxing it so watch me let's unbox it together that's my applicator there bringing it out let me set this aside yes these are the nozzles that's the stand okay so this is how you place your applicator when in use on the stand okay let me open up the nozzles and show us what we have it comes in different millimeters yeah it comes in different millimeter like this now this is two millimeter can you see it so the next one is three millimeter we'll have four millimeter and so on oh sorry can you see it camera camera then it has a mouth this way i don't know if you can see it i'll do my best to get it closer to the camera it has the the edge that way is a bit pressed in to accommodate your stone see how it is see what i'm trying to say can you see that it has a hole there to accommodate the stone so that is how it comes so these are two different sizes of stones you have to check the nozzle that will go for each one can you see this one covered it entirely telling you it is not suitable then you will try another nozzle you keep trying till you get the one suitable like if i was to use the small one is okay for that but what i'm working with is the big the bigger stone there so let me make use of this five millimeter can you see yes so this five millimeter will be suitable for it but if i was working with a smaller stone it would be a no no because that's a two millimeter stone and the two millimeter nozzle is more suitable for it so now that we have gotten the nozzle that is most suitable for the stone we are working with the five millimeter nozzle the next thing we are going to do is to fix it to the mouth of our applicator this way can you see can you see how i did it let me bring it close to the camera and repeat it again you put it in this way do you see that part that has something like rings then you will screw it in in an anti-clockwise direction make sure it's tight and that is it i believe we understand yeah so this is how we're going to use it your stone when you place it when it's heated you press it on it this way so that is it so now that we've gotten the most suitable nozzle and we'll fix it to our applicator let's pack the other nozzles back to its pack always pack it back you know they are tiny so that you don't go misplacing it i'm going to clear every place now leaving only my applicator the stands and the stones i'll be working with yes everywhere is already so these are what i'll be working with my stones my stand and my applicator so now i'm going to plug my applicator to a light source i have a socket down there i just plugged it then there is a button oh i didn't know it wasn't showing in the camera there's a button at that end you press it on it will show a red light which indicates it's on 
Then you place it carefully on the stand. Place it carefully on the stand. The next thing you have to do is you start arranging your stones. There is no particular arrangement this is meant to go. Here you have to be creative. Make sure you're placing it in a way it's coming out so beautiful and unique to your tests or according to the desire of the clients you're working for. So you arrange it all properly. If it was to be the tinier size of stone, like size 2, I would be using a picker. But these stones are big, very big, like you can see. So it's convenient me using the tips of my fingers to place it, to arrange it. I'll keep doing that till I get something nice. So watch me. Remember, as we are arranging, our applicator was plugged to a light source. So by now it's heated. And the next thing I'm doing is this. Placing it on top of each of the stones. Can you see that up part that wasn't showing in the camera? The button I owned. You can see the red light is still there. So that red light indicates it's on. It's heating. At this point, you can't touch the tip of the applicator you have to make sure your hands are far away from it because it's very hot very hot when i say hot i mean it's very hot so i'll keep pressing it on each of the stones can you see what i'm doing press hold down for a little while and the stone will stick can you see they have all sticked to the material so when you're done with the ones you arrange you continue with the arrangements that's how it is so this is what i'm going to keep on doing when you're done arranging you pick up your applicator press and hold press and hold you keep on doing it keep on keep on till your done with all of the stoning but there is something i'm going to show at the end of this video i'm going to show you why you should not use a wrong nozzle for a wrong bead why you must you must make sure is a matching millimeter for the nozzle and the bead i'm going to be showing it at the end of this video so make sure you continue watching so that you see the trick is something you must have to avoid and please when you're not making use of the applicator always place it on the stand always place it on the stand can you see how i kept it as i'm arranging the stones and make sure it doesn't fall on your fabric because when it does it's going to get it burnt it's going to get it burnt so avoid it falling on your fabric always place it on its stand that's why the stand was made after all <coughs> yep and we are done this is it can you see i flinged it and nothing is falling off they are all sitting pretty so what i'm going to do again to be 100 percent sure it's not falling off is to press it a second time all round yes now let me use this piece of fabric to show you what I meant when I said don't use the wrong nozzle for the wrong stone. So this is that tiny stone I used which is 2 millimeter, and I'm still working with my 5 millimeter nozzle. So watch and see what happens. First is because the nozzle is bigger than the stone it was touching the fabric as a result it was getting the fabric burnt which is something you must have to avoid whenever you use a nozzle that is bigger than the stone you're working with 
you have a very high tendency of burning the fabric you're working with so we are done with all of the processes then you press the on and off button in the reverse direction the red light will go off you unplug it from your light source which could be an extension or a socket place it back on your stand this way don't touch the tip of the nozzle don't touch the, the tip of the applicator just leave it this way for a while for like five to ten minutes to cool before removing the nozzle at this point it has cooled entirely i'm going to screw unscrew the nozzle from the applicator place it back to my nozzle back and set aside thank you for watching to this point please if you found the video helpful do well to subscribe like and share to your friends god bless you see you in my next video love you bye